Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts on what could potentially be in the next sneak peek in terms of balance changes. Giving you guys my uh, most wanted buffs and nerfs. Because let's face it, there's a lot of really strong brawlers in the meta. And then also really a lot of uh, weaker brawlers in the meta. So before we jump into the video, then make sure you're using the credit code. That'd be greatly appreciated. Without further ado, let's jump into it. So before we jump into today's video, I just want to give a huge shout out to Google Play and OnePlus for sponsoring today's video. But for also sending out this amazing OnePlus 10T device. One of my favorite features about this device is the Hyperboost Gaming Engine. It makes for a smoother and more stable gaming experience. And it also improves the graphics rendering and reduces rendering power consumption when gaming. It was such an amazing experience playing on my OnePlus 10T device whilst playing in the Google Play and OnePlus Brawl Open event. And there was three stages to this event as well. There was qualifiers, there was group play, and then the finals, which was a $50,000 prize pool. It was absolutely insane. You had the community playing, you had pro players playing, and the creators as well, all into one. It was such an amazing event. There are multiple reasons why I love playing on the OnePlus 10T device. One of them being the fast charging. You can charge from 1% all the way up to 100%. In a matter of 20 minutes, it has a 3D cooling system, so it allows for twice the dissipation ability compared to a tr traditional smartphone. Alright guys, so we're going to be starting off with the buffs which I think should be arriving with the brand new update. In its first one, it has to be Edgar, right? So Edgar has been needing some type of rework for such a long time. So I think the main reason why that this wasn't done sooner was because of the World Finals. So a lot of these changes, I'm kind of uh, feeling like they're going to happen because, uh, as I said, we didn't want to do any like major reworks before World Finals. So now I believe it's the time for a rework like Edgar. So with Edgar, I've explained it in the past. You guys have probably seen the concept already. If you haven't, I'll link it in the top of the description. So Cool Cat came uh, up with an amazing idea on reddit so basically with edgar there's obviously like a huge problem with the way to balance him right he can become one of the best or worst brawlers in the game right now he's one of the worst so in terms of his overall kit so he came up with like a really cool trait so basically whenever like a shot is hit around edgar i think like a small radius it will charge his super up it says 20 percent on reddit and that's probably a little bit too much maybe like 10 percent and then they took away the life leech away from him so i think that's going to be a huge one i know it's one of the main reasons uh, that makes edgar uh, kind of like unique right but i feel like it's just so hard to balance and such an op mechanic so i think removing that maybe uh, buffing his base hp and also adding that trait might make edgar feel a lot better within the meta so next up on my buff wish list of course I have missed a piece. Mr. P and Edgar are the two brothers which I believe need addressing the most of 100%. So Mr. P, you guys have probably known how he's been within the meta. Within the past year, he's literally been unusable in competitive. You know, brothers like B, for example, are literally at the top of the meta and Mr. P is still trash. That just goes to show how badly Mr. P needs a buff. So for me, I think it's quite plain and simple. He needs a damage buff. Or a rework. I'm not really entirely sure how to rework Mr. P, but in simple terms, I'll just increase his damage because there's just so many times where people can just collapse onto him so easily and he just does literally zero damage. So buffing this to around like 1000. 160 odd would make him a lot more viable especially in a 1v1 okay so next up on the buff list of course we have a dynamite so i tried to stay away from uh talking about dynamite norm uh, my normal videos but i feel like right now again because of the world finals are out of the way i feel like dynamite is due a huge rework so either a rework or a huge buff because of course it's literally been the only thrower in the game which hasn't really had their niche you know before you start have siege where you could easily deal a lot of damage to the ike uh heist is somewhat his niche but still he's nowhere near used as much as all the other throws in the game right so yeah dynamite definitely needs some type of buff so the main one for me has to be either making it so his bombs just detonate a lot quicker so making it a lot harder for the opponents to of course dodge it or just increasing his damage or so i just don't know what you could do to possibly rework dynamite but as I mentioned a million times, something has to be done pretty soon. Okay, so next up on the buff list, we have Jesse. So Jesse, again, another brawler which I've highlighted 
multiple times throughout the year and she's just received no love so she's only got a small niche in the hot zone meta and yeah just don't really see her being used elsewhere but jesse i feel like deserves a a little buff i wouldn't really say a huge one so i spoke about it in the past where i feel like she deserves at least a few of her previous nerfs to be uh, kind of undone because i feel like a lot of them were overkill you know like a turret uh, hp that was nerfed a little bit also a few damage nerfs i feel like probably reverting both of them so give her additional turret hp and a little bit more damage and you might start to see jesse a lot more within the meta okay so next up on the buff list we have sandy so again another brawler which my never is really op i will cry for multiple nerfs but again i feel like sandy is one of these brawlers where doesn't really fit the meta whatsoever like he used to always have his niche in like gem grab rubble of course he's not really the best in like knockout and heist etc but for me i feel like he's not even usable in power league whatsoever there at the moment so i wouldn't be buffing his uh, super anytime soon like i want it to take a long time to get sandy's super because it's one of the most toxic things in the game uh overall so keeping that to seven hits i know it's a lot but I think that's pretty balanced i just think giving him a small uh, damage buff because again it feels like he's a little bit too underwhelming doesn't really pack enough punch when it comes down to those 1v1s down the lane okay and lastly for the buff list we have bb so with bb i feel like it's pretty obvious a way to buff her is by increasing her hp you always see in previous metas you know i'm talking probably like years ago now where bb would always fluctuate to one of the best brothers to one of the worst and it was literally due to her hp so of course adding more hp it's going to allow her to get close to the opponents a lot easier and then also reworking her brand new gadget like that gadget is just terrible the first one's gonna be used all of the time so reworking it completely i'm not too sure like how to really go about this uh, but it just needs some love because it's just all first gadget at the moment okay so now moving into the nerfs which desperately need to happen with the brand new updates start off with otis of course otis is the brawler which is easily the best if not the second best within the game right now he's so incredibly strong it was the brawler that was used by far the most in the world finals so just going to show that of course he needs a, a well not really a huge nerf a bit of a nerf so you got to be a bit careful with otis because we clearly seen when he was first released he was literally like the worst brawler within the game but so I just think nerfing his damage a little bit might be enough uh, just to make him like kind of medium within the meta because he is a pretty toxic brawler is if he is the best brawler in the game right because it's hard to have a lot of counterplay to his super but still like not nerfing him enough to make him like the worst brawler in the game so just like a small hp and uh, not hp but damage nerf by about 30 per uh, bullet might be enough uh, to really make him like that medium brawler okay so now moving into the next nerf we have b so b is a bit of a Weird one i've always felt for the longest time that she's one of the most balanced brothers with uh balanced brothers within the game but right now of course she's just way too strong so for me i'd only nerf her just a little bit because maybe the meta will change a bit so then she won't be as strong because only the meta around her kind of made her as strong as she is right so i just feel like maybe a small nerf to her honeycomb star power a lot of people still don't even use the star power but all the pros do so instead of a 30 percent shield probably like a 25 percent 20 percent shield might make it so she's back at her balanced state okay so next up on the nerf list we have griff so griff is a brawler which has really shone in the meta for the past four months plus he's been easily one of the best brawlers within the game but it's starting to drift off the meta a little bit but as more so just at the highest level of the game but for me i think the main problem with griff has to be with his business resilience star power so right now it heals about 15 percent of his missing hp every two seconds i think that's a little bit too much that's the main problem with him because basically he could just continue shooting and healing passively which is just such a broken mechanic so just nerfing it a slight bit maybe it's around 12 to 10 percent should be enough to make griff a little bit more balanced okay so next up on the nerf list we have max max is always a brawler which is more dependent on the player which is using her because of course like you know like mechanically i don't think she's like crazy broken you know like brawlers like otis but still feel like max is just a little bit too strong so i only think she needs a small nerf maybe like a 200 hp nerf to uh well obviously a uh, health might make it so she can't be as aggro but overall i don't think it should be too hard on the nerfs with max because of course again it just depends on how good you are with her okay so next up on the nerf list we have a gale so gale another brawler which i wouldn't say is just completely broken on every single game mode but i think for the longest time now it's been a little bit too toxic so my biggest pet have in brawl stars right now is being an aggressive brawler against gale like of course 
Gale is supposed to uh, like counter tanks, but nowhere near as hard as he's supposed to right now. Like the tornado lasts for 10 seconds. You basically got your super all of the time. So there's a couple of ways you could nerf a Gale for me. So of course I don't want to completely kill him because remember when he used to be one of the worst brawlers in the game, he was unusable. So for me, I think either nerfing his super charge rate or uh, the amount of charge you get when you actually super someone like one of these nerfs has to be done just to make it so he isn't constantly having his super available but also nerfing his gadget i think 10 seconds on the tornado is just way too long especially when you can just use it to uh, block a certain choke point so i think multiple nerfs are needed with get okay so next up on the nerf list we have janet so janet of course has been a top five brawler basically since her release so of course she's due a nerf i won't really say a huge one because i still feel like within random ladder gameplay or just a lot of the lower end of random stone actually think that janet is a good brawler she's only really excelling at the high end of power league when of course you can ban out a lot of her counters but for me I still feel like she's deserving of a nerf so only a small one for me i would make it instead her super takes six hits now maybe seven so it basically makes it so she can't make those plays or get away as much as possible right now so i can't i don't really want to nerf her in her damage or hp else she's probably going to get overwhelmed too much okay and for the final balance change of course we have buster so buster even though i put around like eighth or ninth within the last set of uh, my top rankings he's still an insane brawler on ladder he's one of the best brawlers on ladder easily right now so he's due multiple nerfs so the main one for me has to be his brand new gadget his brand new gadget is just so broken i'm not too sure how they can go about nerfing this completely but to have a slow effect and then also pull people closer towards you i think it's just way too strong for a brawler like buster so nerfing this quite a lot would be nice because he has such a long range for a tank so that's why i feel like you need to nerf it quite a fair bit you've also just overall just got his like everything everything about buster is just so strong so for me i would nerf his hp and damage as well like his hp and damage is just a bit too much for his tankiness even nerfing his range like there needs to be multiple nerfs to buster again because it's just still so incredibly strong all right guys it's gonna be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this one so this is just my predictions for the balance changes but of course make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with all the update information especially the balance changes because i'll be covering that straight away but that's gonna be it for today's video hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time